how to run a sewer camera, plumbing basics. Now, when we did the inspection out here at the outhouse, we got to looking at everything. This particular line had standing water in it, so we know there, there's something wrong here. But then we came out a few days later after we bought the house, and as you see, my helper's really doing good here. Bailey, what are you doing? We came out a few days later and saw that we had sewer flies. Not a good thing. So we brought the camera out to see what we can see. And the good thing is there's not a lot of water in it right now. And again, I don't see any sewer flies. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to punch record on here and we're going to jump in here and see what we can locate. Now, before we get started, this video is sponsored by Leak Pro, of course, because we're looking for a leak. You want to find out more about leaks and leak detection training, go to www.leak-pro.com. All right, so one thing that I like to do before I get started, I like to hit record. New job with date and time. Would you like to record to the thumb drive as well? Absolutely. So it's recording right now, and I can see that because of the blinking red light. One thing I like to do is smile at the camera. Make sure that it can see me, that they know who I am. I want people to know that, that it's me, but I also want to show them their house. So as I point back here, you know, they can look at this when they look at this video and know this is their house. And I'll tell you when we get to the end, why I like to do that. Why I like to do both of those things. And as you can see, well, we have Colton and Squirt back here giving me a hand today. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the sewer camera down in there. And if you look at it, man, you can get a really good look. Now, I don't like these, I call this like a double clean out, a two way clean out. I like the ones that you build that are two combinations crossing each other. But when you get one like this, you've just gotta make sure that you turn the cable, get the camera going in the way that you want it. So right now we're going up towards the house. And I can tell that by looking down in here. It doesn't want to go very far. So there's a connection. It looks like a, it looks like a fern coat gasket or something right there. And I can't really pull back far enough to move it around to see it, but it looks like it may not be dead center. So we may end up needing to come out here and dig this up and, and move it around. But I'm going to go ahead and go past it because I want to come in and see if I see any problems up under the house. Now, once you're running a sewer camera, really, what you're looking for, you're looking for any root intrusion. You're looking for any separations like that. You're looking for places where the pipes don't line up. You need to see everything that you can see. And that's why I like these cameras. I love to be able to record it. And man, I think this Milwaukee makes it really easy to do. So we're going in and I don't see anything major. I do have some standing water which isn't good. That tells me that there's definitely some kind of backfall. And as you see, I'm starting to go underwater. So that means it's falling in the wrong direction. But I come into a 90 right here and that probably puts me at the bottom of my toilet. So if I come up into that, there's a smaller line branching off. Now, my bathroom is right about here. My bathroom is right about here over in my end of the office. And there's a shower in there so that would make sense that there would be a branch coming off then you come up man i can't tell what kind of little critter that is it may just be a spider web or something and i'm coming up way too far for that to be where that toilet is so i'm really not sure where it's going right now now that looks like that could be a lead bin for a toilet, or I say lead bin, a branch for a toilet. It makes some kind of an offset. Now I'm in 22 and a half feet. That's a long ways because really my bathroom is probably only about four or five feet over. So I'm gonna come back and see what is what I'm looking at. I could be turned up right there. I just kind of want to check my difference. So as I bring us back in, okay, so there's daylight up there. So I'm definitely looking up a vent. And to be honest, if I come up, so as you can see, 
we got the camera coming out the roof, but that's okay because now we know exactly where that line goes. We're doing a video here about a sewer camera, but remember, this video is sponsored by Leak Pro. Now we chose Leak Pro because we think for water leak detection, they are the very best equipment, but the Leak Pro training facility here outside of Dallas teaches not just water leaks, but sewer leak isolation. How to isolate test walls, how to isolate different branch lines to help you figure out as a plumber for your customer exactly where the leak is. So if you want to learn more about the training by Leak Pro, go to leak-pro.com. As I pull this back in, I'm using the towel to keep it clean. And whatever it is, as you can tell, I got, I got something on the camera head there. And I'm gonna go a little slower coming back in. I didn't see any major breaks. I don't see any flies this time. So, you know, maybe it miraculously fixed itself. Now, what you're looking for here, you're looking to see if you see any cracks, anything out of the norm, uh, roots penetrating, anything at all. Now, it really doesn't look too bad. There's a lot of stain on top, so it's been backed up a lot. We understand that. This goes into a septic system. Now, we're flat here, and there's a branch going off to the right, and I really don't know what that is. Because it doesn't go over and catch the kitchen, because the kitchen area literally stubs off the back of the toilet and around. So I'm not sure what that was. Remember, this house has been added onto multiple times. So, they built the center section in one part, they built the other end, and then they built this end. And we truthfully think like this end used to be like a covered parking garage. But we don't know what it is now, or don't know what was there. So the branch going off there to the right, you can see right there, we literally have no idea what that goes to. And as I'm pulling in, I'm looking up towards the top. I'm trying to look above the water. I'm trying to see if I can see anything up there that, that could be a break. And, and to be honest, I haven't seen any signs of a break yet. And if you look at the reel counter right there, I'm about seven foot in right where I'm at. Like I said, this really doesn't look too bad. We got PVC pipe. It's got a lot of buildup on inside of it, but this house was built in 84, that end. This was added a few years later, and this house is coming out right here, and we're in the water. Now, one thing I wanna do while we're here, I wanna go ahead and turn and go the other way. And I don't have to go very far because, well, back about where y'all are, there's a septic tank. So be careful where you step. Again, I don't see any breakage. I've got a little bit of standing water right there. I'm trying to go without going too far. I'm, well, now I'm completely underwater. Is that a Hershey bar down there? Oh, uh, maybe not. Definitely some fecal remnants. Not sure what that brown stain is on the camera lens. We'll, we'll see if we can figure that out later. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to drop down into the septic tank. I'm about 11, 12 feet in, which I'm getting really close to it. So at this point, I don't see any breaks. I'm going to go ahead and clean my reel off as I bring it back in. Well, the good thing is we didn't see any sewer breaks, which means good things for us. We didn't see any flies when we opened it up this time. And man, I hate to say it, whatever that brown thing was isn't there anymore, so I can't even check to tell you what it was. Now the neat thing about this, and I, I love the Milwaukee cameras, because when they're in, you can trace the entire line. But had there been a break, we would have been able to go get the locator and find out exactly where that is. 
when the if we saw any roots penetrating, if we saw anything at all, man, we could locate it great with the locator and the transmitting sign here on the head of this camera. So it's a pretty neat deal. Again, right before I leave, right before I quit, I'd like to go ahead and make sure they can see it's me, it's y'all, it's got the whole crew here, uh, even a little bit down there. So now the big deal, why do I film myself? There's a lot of plumbers out there that I know that are scam artists. You see where we put this flash drive in here? They've got one that they will stick in and it will literally show a ton of roots. And they'll put it in here and they'll pull it up and then they'll call the customer out and say, hey, you see our cameras down there. I just want to show you, this is your sewer line. You got a lot of problems. We need to clean it out. We need to replace it. We need to do whatever. And I know this is true because the big camera repair company here in town told me about the company coming out and do that. He's an idiot. He's a con artist. You. Guys, I do not like plumbers like that. There's enough good work out there that we can all make a great living. So I want to video myself and them. That way they know when they watch that reel that I'm really in their sewer. So think about you. What kind of reputation do you want to have? Guys, remember, this video was sponsored by Leak Pro. I think Leak Pro is the best leak detection equipment for plumbers on the market. And if you're interested in getting trained on water leak detection and sewer leak detection and isolation, go check out leak-pro.com. Go there and schedule a time to call and talk about the training facility and what we offer. And we'll do everything we can to get you in, get you trained, and get you out making money with a camera, leak pro equipment, and leak detection training. And if you like this video, we've made a whole lot more showing you how to make money with a camera, test balls, and hoses doing sewer and water tests that can help you grow your business. If you enjoyed this, 